Hi guys, um, today, or this evening, because it's 11.14 at night, um, I wanted to make a video on something that I feel very strongly about, and that is bullying. Whether it be verbal, like face-to-face -face bullying, or emotional bullying, where, you know, you're just making the person feel really shitty about themselves, to say it nicely. Um, or, you know, if you're physically bullying someone, or if you're cyberbullying someone, it's, it's not right. Like, it bothers me so much to see people who are highly capable individuals sitting here stooping down to this level and harassing people like okay this is coming from someone who has been through any kind of bullying throughout my whole life um, I was very fortunate and strong enough to never self-harm although I did want to many times um, never had any suicide attempts but I'm fortunate there are others out there who aren't as strong. There are young girls. There are people who are transitioning through different phases in their lives that need all the support and all the love that they can get. And I'm in one of those situations to where I am transitioning through my womanhood. And, um, you know, I'm 25 now and I'll be 26 in March. And that's terrifying for me. But aside from that, um, and that's my Christmas tree. I did it all by myself. <laughs> but um, I've just been seeing a lot of it online lately, like especially, um, oh hello, especially on Twitter and Instagram. Um, don't really see much on Tumblr, although I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Um, Facebook, and the stuff that I see is so inhumane and it just makes you wonder about the person who is bullying or you know acting out if what's causing them to feel so much hatred and so much anger to where they have to feel the need to lash out and kind of put their hurt on others um, or they may be sociopaths. You never know. They might just be people that lack the, you know, the ability to feel any kind of empathy towards others. And you kind of have to, you feel like you're walking on eggshells, like every moment. It's just like, when's it going to happen next? You know, is it going to be somebody that's done it before? Is it going to be somebody different? You know, there's people who you know, change schools because of this. There's reasons that kids, you know, go from public schools to private schools, private schools to home schools, you know, and it's getting worse and worse and people are getting even more and more cruel, especially with everything going on in the world as it is. All we need to do is love each other. And that might sound so freaking corny, but when all is left, we need to stand united. We can't be fighting against each other. There's more important things in this world than to sit there and to take your anger out on someone who might not be able to stand it anymore. They might be on their last little bit of hope, their last little bit of anything. And, you know, the smallest or the, you know, the slightest form of hatred can just send them overboard and cause them to kill themselves, to self-harm, to sink even further and further into the depression that comes with, you know, being bullied and being harassed. And um, it doesn't happen to just girls, it happens to guys. Just like domestic violence isn't always you know, the girls as victims, it's guys as well. They just don't report it as much because who's going to believe them? You know, like they feel like who's going to believe me, you know, in this matter, it's always the women that are victimized, you know, 
and it's it's really sad it really is and it makes me it makes me angry because I know what it feels like and when I see it being done to others it just makes me all the more want to support people in standing up for themselves um, being assertive and for those who are seeing it happen to speak out because you can speak out and end up saving a life and if you don't speak out you don't know what might happen to that person and you could feel guilt forever despite the fact that it wasn't truly you contributing to the issue you still saw it and you could have prevented it from happening further so it's just something that's been on my mind I've been wanting to do a video about this for a while sorry I'm playing with my wig I'm just obsessed with it my hair is blonde um, but I need some color so I'm trying to not make this video as depressing as it seems but no guys for real like we need to stop with the bullying stop with cyberbullying any bullying like any harassing hateful comments just being cruel to people that are vulnerable or minding their own business like with me um, I'll be you know on my computer or I'll be making food cooking in my house um, I'm not gonna mention any names we'll just call my sister Chelsea my sister Chelsea is going through a time in her life um, she just turned 23 and she's she's changed so much in the past couple of years um, she used to be so happy and so you know well-rounded as a person she had a job she loved it you know um, her life was going really well for her and then when she lost that job um, because of punctuality um, which is kind of genetic it runs in the family but you know once she lost that job it really hit her it hit her really hard and you know she started going down this downward um, spiral and doing things she shouldn't be doing and trying to kind of ease the pain in any way she kind of could besides you know like things like heroin and like dangerous stuff like that but um, and I try to be there for her, but what she's going through makes her not want to talk to anyone. And she literally barricades herself. Um, she, her room is in the basement of our house. We have a three story townhouse and um, she barricades herself down there and doesn't leave for several days at a time. Um, she doesn't really eat, take care of herself. And whenever I try to go down there, she just doesn't want to have any of it. She just yells and says, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. And it's so hard because the person that is having to deal with all of this negativity and of course my sister, when I do see her, she does lash out at me pretty bad to where I used to be on several antidepressants um, you name it I've probably been on it for my depression um, I also have anxiety and panic disorder and for a while I was having um, pretty bad social anxiety and um, I was kind of agoraphobic I wasn't leaving the house but it wasn't because I didn't want to it was because I was scared I was just terrified because I would have panic attacks all the time in the car on the highway it was just getting absurd there was so many um, you know attacks happening and I didn't know what was going on with my life I was like what is going on but that's a different story but anyway um, so it's hard as an older sister watching my younger sister decline and lash out and bully because of how she feels about herself and I know that's why she does it I'm not justifying why she does it I'm not justifying that it's okay I'm not implying that whatsoever but I've learned to step back from the situation when it happens and go somewhere else because if I allowed it to it's gonna build up build up build up and we're gonna butt heads butt heads butt heads and it's not gonna do anything 
besides cause a bunch of drama and conflict that we don't need in this house. And I'm very fortunate to live in a house and um, with my father and not have to pay any rent. I'm very fortunate. Um, it's been hard not having a car. Um, my car totaled out on the interstate. It was a pretty crappy car, but it was just something I didn't want to have payments. So um, totaled out on the interstate and it was just not worth the price to fix it. It was actually more to fix it than what the car was worth. So, um, and I have a new job that I've had for the past couple of months of opening a hotel. Um, and it's been really hard trying to rebuild my life and get to, you know, find rides and I have a, you know, a little one as well. So I have to help find ways for her to be watched while I'm working. And this is stressful because at the same time this is happening, what's happening with my sister is right below me and it's non-stop. It's been like this since December of 2014. And most people are like, okay, we'll go and move out and get out of the situation. Well, it's not that easy. Um, first off, I don't have but my sister, dad, and my mother that live in the state that I live in. Um, all my family is elsewhere, so I can't just go and be like, oh, hey, and go crash with them. My mother lives on a houseboat with her boyfriend, and it's very tiny. So um, that wouldn't be something that could happen. But it's, and the thing is, is that I know that it's my responsibility to work hard and try to save up as much as I can and get a car, get an apartment. But where I live, it's very expensive to live on your own. So, um, it's ridiculously expensive. So, um, anyway, I don't know how I went from bullying to this. I just kind of thought I would kind of give you guys an example of my life and how I can relate to, um, what I'm preaching, basically, if you want to call it that. Um, so, yeah, bullying is never okay. It does not matter if you're having a bad day. It's, it's different when you're venting to someone than it is when you're sitting there taking it out on them. You know what I'm saying? So... Just be kind to others. I know it's hard, but if you get in a situation where someone's being very aggressive towards you, remove yourself from that situation. And if you don't feel comfortable removing yourself and walking away, like you feel like it will cause more conflict, if you see somebody around, just ask for help. Because we're not promised tomorrow. And there's so many people out there who are so conflicted about life and so unsure of if they deserve to live like well if I'm being bullied and if I'm constantly being harassed like is there something wrong with me like why should I live if I just seem to be, be you know being a burden on people and that's not it at all it's not that it's not your fault it's not your fault at all it's not it's nothing to do with you it's the person that is bullying you so just remember that next time um, the next time you get bullied, the next per time this, somebody comes up to you and starts to harass you or bully you or call you names or anything like that, just don't say anything back. Just kind of, again, remove yourself from the situation. Remind yourself that they must be feeling pretty crappy about themselves to be lashing out their problems and taking it out on another individual or individuals. Um... But never take it personally because it's not your fault. And if you feel like it's not getting better, then you got to ask for help and people need to do something about it. And if they don't do something about it, you make it happen. Because you can make it happen. All you have to do is stop taking that crap and say, just, just say to yourself, I'm not going to let this happen anymore. Change classes. Change schools. If nobody, and that's only if they won't do anything about it. Um, make sure you're always keeping in communication with your parents um, or a loved one, someone you trust. That way they always know what's going on with you. That way they can kind of give you ideas of what you should do um, if you're not sure of what to do yourself. Because there are situations to where you're like, well, I tried to walk away and they ended up following me and then it just exploded and it was like 10 times worse. So, 
I hope this video helped. I am so much into supporting anti-bullying and um, just be strong. Igbok, I-G-B-O-K. Um, if you go to, if you search on that on Google, it'll populate with the website. I, G is in Gary, B is in boy, O is in orange, K is in kite. Um, it's going to be okay. And it might seem hard. You might be going through a really rough patch. But going through the rough patches makes you so, 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 so much stronger in the outcome and in the end. And there is no end. Just keep going and keep living because it does get better. And that's coming from someone who was at their ultimate low, um, who wanted to give up, who wanted to end it all. And um, I don't know how I never acted upon it. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a fighter. It's in my blood. I'm Italian, German. I'm going to keep fighting. And it's my personality too. And it's my outlook on life. I have so much to be thankful for. And I know things will get better. And I know for people out there, for, you know, you specifically, if you're watching this. And if you're going through it, it will get better. And if you ever need anybody to talk to, you can post a comment um, in the comment section saying, Hey Tara, I need to talk to you. How can I get in contact with you? Um, and I will give you my Skype username. I will give you... Um, my snapchat I will give you anything that you need to communicate with me so I can help you make you feel better um, about how things are going and try to help as much as I possibly can because if we all did that if we all united and stood together and fought against this just imagine a world where everyone I'm not, ha I'm not trying to be a hippie and be like, oh, everybody has to love everybody, like peace, love, you know, day, respect. Um, although that's a very cool thing to go by. But if we stood together, then we could make a huge difference in the world, and the world right now needs it. So just remember that. I love you guys. Bye.